you gotta have coffee in the morning. Put that whining, that whining dog. It's Monday morning. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will be glad in it. Hello, everybody. My name's Jeff. I am the preacher Moto Man. And I got my trusty companion, Gus, right down there. If you can hear that whining dog out there, that's my wife's 12 or 13 year old miniature schnauzer just beside himself because she's put him outside and she won't let him back in. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyway, uh, I've told you on a previous video or video videos that my, my wonderful Labrador retriever, Gus, who is now, let's see, December, uh, he's now 20. 20 months old, four more months, he'll be two years old. Gus has destroyed three helmets. One was just a cheap uh, half helmet. No, 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 no. One of them was a sport bike helmet that I bought so that my grandsons would have a helmet and they could ride on the bike with me. The next one was a half helmet that I bought at the Harley Davidson dealership uh, when we first bought the bike, Felicia just insisted that we have matching helmets. So we went to Harley Davidson and we bought two helmets that had Harley Davidson on the side. And then the third helmet was my uh, HJC modular helmet. I'm looking around the shop. I know it's still around here somewhere. I can get it and show it to you. That's it, HJC IS Max 2, which I didn't find this helmet uh, when I was looking, and uh, apparently they don't make it anymore, but the entire, the outside of the helmet withstood the test, but the entire inside of the helmet is gone. Was, so anyway, <laughs> I took an old helmet out of retirement and I and I repainted it. And you know, it's actually served me pretty well. I mean, it probably needs some more sanding and, and repainting to get it really smoothed out. But you know, I, I like this helmet. I like the way this helmet looks on me because it's thin. It, the, 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 uh, the padding on the sides is not as thick as some other helmets. And uh, I know the thicker the better as far as safety. But the looks of this helmet, I, I really like the looks of this helmet. The, the inside of this helmet is really hard. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a helmet. Of course, it don't have the DOT sticker on the back of it anymore because I painted over it. So anyway, I began to shop for a new modular helmet because I really would like to get in the habit of wearing a full helmet for safety reasons. I want to get in the habit of wearing a full helmet. I've noticed, you know, some people don't wear helmets at all. Ah, that helmets, you know, well, anyway. And then there's people that are really smart that wear helmets and, and they're setting a great example. One of those is Adam Sandoval. I went and, I went and met up with the uh, uh, Great American Convoy, the Adam Sandoval Convoy, where he was going to every dealership and he had people riding with him. Well, I went to the one of the Harley dealerships and I met up with that convoy and, and it was, it was hot. And, and Adam Sandoval wears a full helmet. It was a full helmet. And so he's setting a great example. And I think, you know, maybe, maybe I should set a better example. Anyway, he came in and, and I see something on this box that I didn't know. It says, on this box, it says Komodo, family of brands, Revzilla, Common Tread, Cycle Gear, Rever, and J&P Cycles. Does that mean that all of these companies 
are the same company? If, if that's the case, that's news to me. So let's get this. Let me get a blade here. Take these sunglasses off. And uh, I wear sunglasses a lot because, number one, uh, my baby blue eyes can't take glare. Number two, I don't like my... I don't like my eyes. Number three, I have shifty eyes. I'm bad about looking around while I'm talking instead of looking. And so, and number four, was that number three? And number four, my eyes uh, weep gunk a lot. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, my wife, Felicia, calls them eye boogers. And I noticed on one of the videos that I did recently that I had, I didn't have them on my glasses and I had a big eye booger right there. So anyway, that's why. Hey, and by the way, no, I'll save that for later. So, I'm gonna cut into this box. But anyway, this, this helmet, Here, we've got the HJC box. All right, all right, so. And so, now I'm unbagging. Now, that's the wrong helmet. That's not what I ordered. I ordered a flat black. I'm almost positive. I ordered a flat black. My last helmet was, was uh, shiny black, gloss black, and it matches like beauty. But Felicia's helmet, Felicia's helmet is flat black. So, I'm going to have to go back and look at my order. See what I ordered. I'll be back. So, here's the deal. I went back and looked at my order at JMP Cycles. I did, in fact, according to their records, order black. They have two choices. They have black and they have matte black. Apparently I ordered black. That's what, that's what, everything I looked at, that's what the information says. So, I went online and did some reading about the benefits of gloss black versus uh, matte black. And uh, it, it varies, but I, 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 I'm, I'm sure I could return this to, to uh, J&P Cycles and get a matte black. And so I'm torn. <laughs> hey, my last video, I unboxed a new seat and I hated it. A new seat from TCT and I hated it. I don't hate this helmet. I don't hate it. It's just that I had I had decided to go with matte black because I wanted to I wanted to match with Felicia. The other thing is is that the gloss black actually matches the bike and maybe I needed. I just don't think that. The, the 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 feeling in the motorcycle community is that gloss black is as cool as black as matte black. And I don't mean who cool, I mean hey cool. That <coughs> that that anyway. So hang on a minute. I've been sweating a little bit this morning. And so I'm gonna try this helmet on. 
if there's a fit issue, now this is a 4X. I just looked online. I think I said in another video that they go up to like 7X. Uh, this particular helmet goes up to a, goes up to 5X. So apparently there are people in the world who have bigger heads than I do. That's hard to believe, but I wear, I, I can, some caps I can wear a seven and seven eights and some caps, uh, fitted caps, I need an eight. When I was in high school and played football, uh, my helmet was special order. I'm actually trying to figure out how to get this visor to go up. There it goes. I'm sure there's a button somewhere. I've just got to locate it. As far as the feel, it feels okay. It's not, it's not loose and it's not, it's a little tight in the forehead, but that's, that's normal for me to start with until I break something in. hot in here. So, I guess, since apparently this is what I ordered, I'm going to keep it, be happy with it, and see if I can figure out still looking I guess I could get the instructions out there's not a there's not a, a thing to, to pull it down with your finger so there's got to be a button it's, it's got to be it's got to be something I'm just not this is a vent I'll have to go research that. I'll be back. I'm going to go get some more coffee and research that. Okay, so I was talking to you uh, earlier. That was about 10.30 this morning. Now it's about 8 p.m. My day got, I just had, I had to go. I had other things to do. I could sit it back. I don't think I'm going to. I'm, I think I'm going to keep it and uh, might get me a matte black down the road. I think I'm gonna keep it. I have learned some things about it and there's more to learn about it, but uh, I, I, figured out, I figured out how to get the visor up and down from watching a YouTube video and there's, there's a, there's a uh, switch right here for it. The old helmet, it was up here but now it's down here, which will interfere a little bit with comm systems because you have to go back a little bit further. This one actually has some kind of built-in place for comm system, but guess what you doing over here, boo? Hey, what you doing? Guess is always around. So there's a lot of features. Now th this is, this is a budget helmet. I, I know that. So just in case you feel like you need to let me know. I know it's a budget helmet. I paid 230, I think $234 for this helmet. And a really good helmet's four, five, six hundred dollars. It's kind of like seats. You get what you pay for. But I was, I was always satisfied with um, my last HJC helmet. And uh, this one's got uh, this one's got some features that that one didn't have. So I think I'm really gonna, I think I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna like it. Let me go. All right, that, that switch is over here. 
See that? It's kind of clunky. Let's go riding. Let's go riding. You know why I like the you know why I like the uh, the modular instead of just a full helmet. Number one, I can open it to put it on. I can grab this, spread it out. It just makes it easier to put it on. The other the other thing <laughs> the other thing that I like about it is that if I got my drink with a straw, I can pop my I can pop. The front up, as long as I'm not going too fast, I can pop and I can drink. If I'm doing like 70 miles an hour, the wind's just going to catch this and throw my head back. But I know that. I've, I've, I've been using a modular helmet for quite a while now. But uh, anyway, there we go. Let's see. This helmet's kind of clunky. It don't just... It don't latch well. You gotta really give it a, you know, the little, the little thing on the side for the visor, it's kind of clunky. It don't just pop up and pop down. You gotta, you gotta work it. But there again, you get what you pay for, right? So anyway, now, before I go, I'm gonna tell you this. If you, if you watched my video about the uh, TCT seat, the comments on that video have, uh, have caused me to decide that I will give that seat a try. I've got until September the 27th to return it. I'm gonna give it a try. Some comments say that they're all kind of hard with their new, I, I don't know, I, I think it's just too hard, but. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm, you guys advised me. They got. It's got to be broken in, and uh, so uh, tomorrow I'm gonna put the seat on, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a try. I thought about getting Felicia one of those butt muffin butt muffs butt whatever you call it the pad, go in her seat, give her a little extra cushion. That also that suggestion also came from a viewer. Yeah. Bye.